My apartment's entrance had this hanging lamp that I wanted to replace with a surface mount of one. I couldn't find anything as I envisioned, so I decided to build it myself. The lamp's base will be stained black, so it doesn't matter which wood species I choose. I went with silver fur, which I had a thick block of. I cleaned up one face in my small joiner before ripping it in half. I started cutting it, but for some reason the cut was drifting a lot. I didn't quite understand what was wrong with the blade, so I kept forcing the cut, which was not what you should do. Long story short, I was in a hurry. When I finally stopped and analyzed the blade, I noticed it was pretty loose. That's why the cut ended up terrible. After planting both parts to their final thickness, one thicker than the other, I cut them to the final width of the table saw. I cut them to length using the Rockler Precision Miter Gauge and Fence. It comes with a stop lock that is very useful to make all the pieces the exact same size. First, I made a crosscut with the stop lock out of the way to square up one end of the work pieces. Then I flipped it and made the final cuts. I wanted to use walnut for the lamp's main face to match another light I have in the apartment entry. This board has a lot of sapwood. It doesn't matter though because I will cut off most of it, I just need a thin piece to work as a cover. I sliced and prepped the walnut just like the other pieces. I don't trust my thickness planer for final surfacing because it needs sharpening. I ended up using the drum sander instead. With all the wood flat and cut to size, I could start thinking about the socket and the wiring installation. I had the surface mount socket that comes with a plastic base. I realized I didn't need the whole thing, so I removed the ceramic socket. I found a center on all pieces because I wanted it centered in the lamp base. To hide all the wiring, I needed to make some holes and a groove connecting the socket to the cables from the ceiling. I will also drill a couple of holes for mounting screws. To make all the different holes, I got the precision Forstner bit set from Rockler off the shelf and started selecting which ones I'd need. The walnut cover will be drilled with two different sized bits, one slightly smaller than the other. 
This way the socket's rim gets covered. That's why I started with a tiny hole to serve as a center point to drill from both sides. The holes for the socket are made. Now I need to create a pocket to hide the connection from the ceiling. It was offset by a few centimeters. Looking good! Here you can see that the socket rim is covered, which is exactly what I wanted. A groove must be cut to pass the wires between these large holes. Let's go to the router table. I swapped the bit for a larger one to ensure plenty of wiggle room for the cables. I turned on the router and lowered the piece aligning the bit with the recessed hole. Then I could slowly guide the workpiece along the fence until the router bit was visible from the center hole. I clamped the silver fur pieces together and drilled a few holes for screws. The walnut cover will be attached with magnets. I need it to be perfectly aligned with the lamp base. To accomplish that, I use the old nail trick to mark both pieces. Then I could finally drill some shallow holes to embed the magnets. I check the polarities before gluing because it's really easy to mix everything up and end up with repelling pieces. I cut an acrylic template with a laser cutter to use as a guide for the curved dance. I traced around the shape to quickly remove the excess material with the bandsaw.
I installed a compression flush trimming bit on my Rockler Pro Lift and started copying the template. It was my first time routing solid wood with this router bit. Everything was working as expected until... Well, you guessed it. I blew out the end grain. I hoped that a compression bit would work flawlessly in this situation, but that wasn't the case. I had to put plan B in action and send the rest of the curves to the lines. As I've mentioned, the fur will be painted black, so I use Chinese ink. Once dry, I gave all parts a hard wax oil coating to protect the wood and bring the walnut to life. One last satisfying test, and I could do the electrical job. With the wiring embedded, I could close the bottom cover and securely attach the socket. Let's do a test before installing it in the ceiling. Amazing! Here it is, the last tiny apartment project. At least I hope so. A big shout out to Rockler for supporting this project and to all my Patreon members. All right, I'll see you on the next one. In the meantime, go get your hands dirty. Até já.